and a bloody good morning to you too how are you doing you okay welcome in for another vlog with myself darren this is a day in life with a class one hcu driver here in the uk back in nemesis again my regular truck and still connected to the trailer from last night now yesterday's shift i started at 4 a.m in the morning finished at 7 p.m and now i'm back in at 4 a.m today and that's because the load i collected yesterday by sunderland is getting delivered in warrington so i'm just doing all my checks this morning just giving it a quick once over making sure the tire tread is all good make sure the curtains are all in good condition and all the lights and all the electrics are still working even though i've not disconnected it from last night i'm still going to check the kingpin i'm still going to check the legs i'm still going to check the air i'm still going to do everything like a little once over as if i've never connected to a trailer before just leaving the yard now it's 20 past four in the morning I've got 10 minutes to get to my first one. It's only around the corner, so it's not too bad. It's really dark around here, actually, isn't it? Lights. So about a five minute drive anyway. Need to be there for half past four. Full loads taken off, and then I've got back to our yard couple of pallets getting collected then deliveries around Preston area so it should be not a bad day today got my hand for do cheeky bother at half past four in the morning why not half five in the morning first job done now if the rest of the day goes this season smooth I'm in for a good day <laughs> And I know I jinx myself all the time by saying things too early, but yeah, I've got a good feeling about today, I do. Half past five in the morning, first job is done. Going back to the yard, get loaded up for the rest of the day. Looking at the run sheet though, it is only one in Wigan and two in Preston. I can't see that being all of the day. I think it's going to be quite a bit more after that, probably on collections later on maybe. And the first place probably doesn't even up until 8 o'clock, so I've got about two and a half hours to get loaded up and then get to my first location. Need to make sure I take a minimum 15 minute break though before 10 a.m. this morning, because I started at four. I've had it on POA already though, so that helps a little bit. And our depot is about half a mile away. Nice and easy, should be there for a quarter to. Got the straps on the load, nice and secure. Now these are little bits of sheet metal, but there's no weight in them whatsoever. It weighs probably about 30 kilogram. But I'm still strapping it down just so it doesn't slide. Because last thing I want is that to slide, get it through this, and then slice the curtain. Even though it's like odds are against it happening, but still, you never know. So strap it down, make sure it's all secured. If it's heavy metal sheet plating, then I'll put one and then two straps down at least. Like on this one here, I'm gonna put one here and then one over there as well for it. Time is now. 10 to 7 in the morning and I've got to drop one pallet off at the Northern Hub first and then straight off to Wigan. Now I've all got the three pallets to deliver for today so that's quite nice and easy, nice and relaxed as well this morning. It seems really really relaxed which is good. I'm enjoying that. I'm liking it. <laughs> I'm not going to complain over a relaxed atmosphere. It certainly beats being stressed out, doesn't it? Um, this will be the last vlog, by the way, for a week or so. Um, the reason for that is, is because I'm off work tomorrow. I've got the bank holiday weekend off. So I'm off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, back in on the Tuesday. And I, I can't wait, you know, just put my feet up. I've not really got any plans or anything. So I'm not going to be recording like on my day to day what I get up to because there's nothing really to record, nothing entertaining for you. But however, on Sunday, we're going down to Birmingham 
I think it's at the NEC, I could be completely wrong, but it's at one of the arenas in Birmingham and it's for Monster Jam. So Monster Jam, the big monster truck event which is over in America normally. I've came to the UK to do a little bit of a tour. So Grave Digger is going to be there and some of the other iconic monster trucks. So my little lad is obsessed with monster trucks. So we've managed to get tickets for it. We're going to go down and see it and I'll do a little bit of a vlog for that day as well. So a little bit of traveling, traveling down, a little bit of the event and then obviously on our way back up as well. Hopefully you find it interesting, hopefully it's something you enjoy. If you do like it, don't forget to hit that like, comment and also subscribe to your channel as well. And same for this video as well, don't forget to hit that like button. It really does mean a lot, so thanking you very much for all the support in advance. So yeah, monster trucks, I'm actually more looking forward to it than the little ladder for being honest with you. I absolutely love monster truck events. I think they're really entertaining, especially the Monster Jam ones when you see them doing flips and stunts on the TV. I think it looks really cool, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the hub is just in Ashton, so it's only around the corner from our depot, um, probably about half a mile from where I am now. As soon as we get past all the traffic, we'll be there. Let's see how busy Ashton is at 7 a.m. in the morning. Can get quite busy around here at times. I've got to be honest with you though, since I've been starting this diet, oh God, I'm craving a bloody meat and potato pie of some sort. <laughs> no, that's dodgy food. Can't stop thinking about food now. Oh, getting hungry. Buy a boiled egg this morning. For dinner today, I've got some sardines, some chicken, and it's like cooked chicken slices, they are, and another boiled egg. So that's my snacks and dinner for today. Should do me, I think. Oh, well, yeah, I'm not sticking too strict to any certain type of diet or anything. I'm just trying to eat that little bit more healthier. And if, um, for an example, tomorrow, I think it is, uh, me and Liana going out for a spa night. So we're going out for a spa day and then the uh, overnight at the hotel is included. And then also we get a meal and breakfast as well. So when I'm out for the meal, I'm just gonna eat whatever I want really. I might go for a big steak or something. But yeah, I'm not gonna just eat meat only or anything if I'm eating out. I'm not going to be like that too strict, I'll go crazy on it. It's like a little piece of chocolate or a little bit of sauce on a steak. I don't think it's going to hurt you for one day. But I feel like I've lost a bit. Anyway, I think I've lost about six pounds in about four days, which is good. So if I keep putting the momentum, I only need to lose, oh, I want to lose about a stone, so I'm not going crazy. Just get myself down to 15 stone. That's not bad. Six foot as well. Always makes me nervous when I drive past people with dogs on the lead as well, especially when the leads are quite long. I always get that really bad feeling that a dog is just going to run out into the road. So make sure you keep that lead tight if you're walking your dog near any trucks. And just like that, we're here. Just had to pull over and double check with Google Maps, making sure I'm at the right place. Because it's starting to get a little bit more narrower, but I've just seen a learner driver come past me. So that's always a good sign, because I've seen another truck come down this way, and it was a learner, so there's got to be access points to and from. Um, I do believe it's just going to be here on the right hand side in a minute. It's not a housing estate, that's for sure. And it's not on that industry estate. And it goes a bit further down than I thought, this place. And I think it should be... I think it's in here. Oops. 
17 maybe? 17 Bradley Lane. Um, can't see it there, so I think it might be the next one actually. and just go pull over here a sec because I know there's a low bridge up ahead I remember coming down here once before so I think it might be down here on the right hand side so I'm just going to get out have a little bit of a walk around before committing because it looks quite narrow down there oh actually I can see it I can see it good good right on that note let reverse back a little bit Wait for these to get past. Right, I need to take a really big swing at this one. Last minute, and then turn right down. I should be able to turn left and then reverse it into their parking spaces in front as well. Oh, actually, this big yard. Is it a big enough yard? Yeah, by the looks of it. A little bit tighter than a fort, actually. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm going to have to reverse back out when I do. Luckily, it's on the good side, so I'll be able to get round, hopefully. And um, that way there, it's just a dead end, it's just a car park. I'm not going to lie, I'm really disappointed in my GoPro for just then. So reversing, I've had the camera up on the side, I reversed out and I'll tell you what, it was tight. I had two people, Banksman me, so if you ever get somewhere it's pretty tight to reverse out of, always use a Banksman if possible. So I've reused the Banksman, gone down, there's cars parked up on this side, literally that far away from the cars, like sneaking around. One of the best reverses that I've done in my life. And the camera didn't record it. It recorded four seconds as I've drove out of the place. It's like, what are you doing to me, GoPro? Prime content gone right away. Uh, always double check my cameras. Make sure it's all recorded properly before doing big feats of reversing. <laughs> oh, well. The next one is 19 miles away. Looking at about 37 minutes drive to get there, and it's at top end of Preston, near Leyland Way. I've Google Maps it as well because it's the first time I've ever been to this place, so I want to have a quick little scope out and see what it's like. And it doesn't seem to be too bad, it seems to be a little bit bigger than where I've just delivered to, anyway. And it's couple of options where it could be it's either the really big warehouse which i'm hoping it is because trailers in the yard and it looks like spin around so it's probably not going to be that <laughs> it's probably going to be one of the small units what are on the back street <laughs> where it looks like really tight to turn around so let's see let's see when we get there hopefully it's the first one Just remember as well, when you come up to these type of junctions, just be careful of all the fencing that's around. Always take a little bit off the other side of the lane if you have to. Keep your right indicator rather from turning right. But I'm taking a little bit of the left hand lane. Just so we can get in a nice big swing. Make sure the trail doesn't cut the corners. Could be a while there actually. 
don't worry about all the other cars behind you. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, I'd rather let them wait an extra 30 seconds or so than me cause damage to one of these railings and the trails. Like so. I've arrived now at job number two. It's currently quarter to nine. And I'm just going to try and spin it around. Because it's on my driver's side, ideally. Anyway, that's the best way I want it. So hopefully I should be able to just get the swing for this. It's a little bit tight. Well, nothing we can't get round. Get a quick reverse backwards. Just keeping it close as I can. So just this side here. Get past this fence panel. Get it out the window. That's just past there. Good. Keep an eye on the headboard. Just unload here quickly. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to reverse back. You, you got on now. Let's see if we can move over, create enough space for them to get past. I think he's stopped there. Bit easier that way. Right, on to the next one. Job number three is just around the corner now, just down this lane. I'm hoping it's that big factory there on the right hand side. Sat looks like it's stopping around this section. Big factory's a big brewery there. Hmm. Sat enough saying here. <laughs> That's not right. Is there something else up here? On the right hand side. Nope. Okay, uh, hmm. I'm about to give them a call actually to see where they are. This is not good then, I'm going, going now. <laughs> oh, absolute nightmare when it's places like this. Hopefully I'll be able to turn around somewhere up here. Luckily, about five miles down the end of that lane, generally about five miles long this lane has been, uh, it turns out it's the Budweiser factory anyway. But at the end of this five miles lane, there's a roundabout. Thank God for that. So I managed to spin it round. Now I've just got to go all the way back down 
to the Budweiser factory and give that a try, see if that's the right place. <laughs> oh, oh look, this is one little pallet as well. I've checked the scanner as well when I pulled over. And I've got a collection from Pet Foods Place over at Chorley. It's not too far from where I am now. And down this lane, there's a house that I need to be careful of. It's because they've got chickens running on the road outside the house. So hopefully, the little chickens stay away from the road. Don't get hit. I don't know why people would have chickens running free on a road like this. But yeah, they do. Some great views on the left hand side though. Really, really nice. Is that overlooking a little bit of a valley? still so it turns out i'm at the right place it is part of the brewery it's just a company within the brewery so we're delivering some sheet metal not lager unfortunately they do have some pretty cool little cabins on the left hand side Let's see if the camera can see them so you got a corona stella budweiser So it looks like the brew several different beers inside. Bex as well. I'll go through here. What other names can we see? Uh, Bass, Corona Extra, Budweiser, Bex, Stella. You'd think they'd all be different companies, wouldn't you? Not the actual same company where they get brewed in the same place as well. So we go down this way and then down and around. Now I've just got to try and locate the people that we need to unload us. It's the first time I've seen one of them being used like that. Just off the M6 at the moment, and I thought this was a normal service station <laughs> because, well, the signs everywhere saying services, and yeah, you can only actually fill up on one pump because you can't get the turn to get out on the second one, <laughs> it's too close to the building, and there's no parking for HCVs, but there's no sign saying anywhere no HCV parking. Silly. The one right by the Scottish Steakhouse, Junction 31, I think it is, on the M6. Ah, let's get over towards Chorley. It's the first collection all done over at Chorley. Time is now half past 11. And I've got one more collection after this one, planned anyway. I'm not too sure it's after the next collection. Sit me out the window to get past them little bars. But the next one is down in Wigan. It's not too far, it's only 20 miles away. And I'm due to get there in about 40 minutes or so. A little bit of a change of plan. Instead of going to Wigan to make the collection that was originally planned, um, somebody else in the area is collecting that one. And then myself, I've come down to our depot to get unloaded. Empty off the nine parts that collects from Chorley, and then I'm going down to Nuts, I think it is, for 19 pallets. One of the main reasons for that is because it needs to be collected by three o'clock. I'm in the area, well, up this way, traveling down the M6, which is not too far for me to get to. And the time is currently half past 12, so I'll make good timing to get there. Let's 
got to take it easy going through them little yellow barriers that are on the floor. Driving back through Ashton Village now. Didn't take too long to get unloaded there, which was good at the other depot. Going there for about five minutes, quick unload. Oh my god, something smells nice, and I think it's the Green Halls Bakery right next to me. Oh god, when you when you try and diet, why is it always like food? The worst ones as well were always piping heightening your cravings, isn't it? I was saying before about like a pie or a sausage roll or something. Oh god, I can smell it fresh pies and fresh sausage rolls. Just been cooked. Oh, it's not a better smell than that, is there? It's not worse smell than that, really, is it? When you try and diet. I mean, I like you say, I don't really need to lose a lot. Just the stone. I think that guy thought I was going on the pavement. <laughs> they grabbed them two girls there. Now that really is a nice Bentley. Okay, where's the Arctic driver going? Is he going into that yard by the looks of it? Perfect. So I'm just finishing up now in Nutsford. Uh, I've got to make my way back to the yard empty off and then nosley i need to try and be there quick as i can for a full trailer load to then take it back to our yard for tomorrow's delivery uh, time is now half past two should be back at the yard hopefully for six tonight long day i know again it really is actually isn't it but I'm off tomorrow for a few days, so it's not too bad. Oh, that's the odd problem. When you have an Arctic reversing, you can't see space behind. The little van pops out. So that's plenty of space. Feel the weight right now though on this on this trailer. And I've got 49 minutes left of driving time. So I need to try and take a break for 30 minutes when I can when it's available. I want to try and get to the depot first though before taking a break so the traffic doesn't build up too much on the M6. Imagine it being quite heavy in about an hour. Time is now five o'clock and I'm just leaving the place in St. Ellen's for our last collection of the week. That's right, the last collection of the week. I'm now off for six days after today. As I said before, I've got nothing planned. Uh, we had a little bit of bad news in the family. Um, so, to try and cheer Leanne up, I've paid for a little spa night getaway. So we're going out for a spa one day, and then staying over at the hotel, get some nice dinner and breakfast the next day. To try and cheer her up a little bit. And then monster drama at the end of the week. Other than that, not really doing too much. So hopefully it should be a good one. I'll do a bit of vlogging for the monster jam because I think it'll be quite interesting. But the rest of the week, I'm just gonna put my feet up and relax. So I hope you folks have a great week and I hope you enjoy your Easter holidays because it's a four day weekend as well coming up. We're off Friday, Saturday, Sunday and the Monday is standard for everybody. If you are working, hopefully it goes well for you as well. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of overtime going around for people. road is really bumpy especially when you got a really heavy trailer as well because I'm about 26 ton on me at the moment so I'm going to take it nice and easy going round everything's strapped down it needs to be strapped down 
but still, because of the weight of the trailer, I don't want to be throwing it round corners, that's for sure. Um, yeah, so it's five o'clock now. I should be back at the yard for half past five, getting loaded, and then back and finishing at my yard with the unit for six o'clock leaving. That's not too bad. Finishing at six o'clock and done 14 hours. Nice little shift that, isn't it? <laughs> and just like that, back at the yard. It is currently half past six at the moment, so we've got 30 minutes left. Drop the trailer and then that is me done for the night. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. And as always, stay safe out there. If you've got any questions, by the way, about the vlog or HGV driving, let me know down below and I'll try and answer as many as I can for you. Hopefully I can answer them anyway. <laughs> have a great weekend, have a great week, and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.